Hello, Scrabble here, back with more Dark Souls 2. So, last time we encountered the Ruined Sentinels, and we got ruined, as we should expect. I'm thinking today we might not want to throw ourselves against the Ruined Sentinels over and over and over again. I think I want to do one attempt, and this is not a continuation of my play yesterday. Um, I... I let a whole day pass, because I was getting frustrated by these guys. Hey, big guy's gone now. Awesome. Um, but my concern here is that since I'm clearing out the area, we are going to run out of places to get souls. And I think to get to the next area... I require... Ooh. Am I dead? That is the clutchest save. It is unbelievable that I'm not dead. I think to get to the next area, I require a branch of yore. Which costs $12,000 from Valentia. Or 12,000 souls, as the case may be. Souls are dollars in Dark Souls, obviously. Come on. But I mean, obviously grinding feels bad, right? So we don't really want to sit and grind either. Oh, come on! Like... My sword was clearly, clearly inside that dude. Or I could summon, but again, I don't really want to summon. Summoning kind of feels bad. Yep, roll for the win. But I mean, the more I do this, the less often these guys are going to appear. Right now, I've got 1,700 souls. And the more I clear, the less opportunity I'm going to have to get souls. I have no idea how many souls I'm going to get from the Soul of the Pursuer. I kind of want to do this now. Let's do it. Eight. Well, that brings me to nine, seven. If I need 12,000, that could be a bit of a slog. If I'm getting 1,500 every time I come through. Um, and I don't actually have a good way to do that, do I? Oh! <laughs> huh. Oh, he's shooting flaming crossbow bolts. We should not give him a chance to load his crossbow. Uh, you. There we go. Oh, he did kind of plunge it down. That's good. I still find it crazy that I just have no, like... No solid things here, right? Like... What do we do? I don't know. Jog?
And there's actually no way for me to get back to the bonfire, which seems incredibly silly. It's like, you can use two homeward bones to get back. Visions of bonfire. Bloody expensive. Impossible. Um... No? No. Once you've come this way... That's it. There's no going back. Well, that's frustrating too. I can't lose... I cannot lose my stuff at this point. Ooh, I have a gold pine resin. I saw it. Maybe that will be very helpful. All right, so. Like, really painful here. So I can go back. If I die, I can't go back again. Which is frustrating. Well, sorry, if I die, then I, I risk losing 10,000 souls, which I have done before, and it sucks. It always sucks. I have lost so many souls, and if I hadn't lost them, I'd be in a much better spot here. What's this guy doing? He's clearly enchanting his blade in some fashion. And running away. Pretty sure that black barrel is a powder keg. There's lots of powder kegs. Why is everyone using... Crossbows, instead of guns. Gotcha. Hmm. See, like, that sucked. I should've just taken my time. If jam! Yes, I need those. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Just... For whatever reason, they did not want to come forward. Aye. Oh, he got me. Whoa. Gotcha. Okay. Life gem? Life gem! I like life gems. Those are good. Okay. Whoa. I saw you swing, and I knew it was bad. It's like, this is always going to be bad with you swinging here. There is no way this turns out good for any of us. Swing, swing. Hit, hit. All right. Okay, we've got 11,795. Clearing out the other room should give us the rest of the 12,000 that we need. Hopefully. Hopefully. The alternative is I die and then I accidentally die again and I lose all these souls. And I'm not going to pretend like that's never happened. But it's totally possible that... Oh! All right, you're gone. Just gonna clear this room. We should have one more. All right, he's dead. No life gems or anything, because those would be nice. I don't want to see if that pursuer over there comes back. I know I could, but I'd rather not. Oh, I don't know why I came up, because that's not going to do anything. All right. We have 12,000. We can totally get the petrification thing. 
Now, the painful thing is that there's still two characters, I believe, that are petrified. There's one in the tutorial section that was petrified. I have not forgotten about him. And I think there's another one in a tower up here, and I don't remember. Because it's been so long, I don't remember if I got that one or not. Yeah, me again. Take your tree branch. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I believe this petrified person was up this way through this treed area. I remember coming here before. I remember there being a strong character here. This way? Yes. And there's an NPC here, too. Which maybe these people were fighting. Oh, yes, and this is the guy they mentioned. Have you seen the guy with the great blue sword? I was like, I don't remember that guy. But he's right here. Do you like statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough. It starts to look alive. Ah, it just doesn't seem quite right. There are no craftsmen around these parts. There are! Hey. There are craftsmen around these parts. Try beating to a pulp and then hurrah for a weapon. Attacking required ahead and therefore weakens tongue. I, uh, what, you can steal this great sword? I really don't want to steal a great sword though. Try right. Right spot. Try left. I like that. I... like that. Whoa! Ha ha ha! Alright, he's dead. I did not realize I could break the door down. That's funny. Does this door break? No. Nice! That was great up close. I love how he fell against the wall too. Raw for rolling. I saw the black barrels. I rolled anyway. Oh. Whoa. No. No. It's like I hear, I hear dudes. There were a lot of dudes in there. A lot of dudes. Let's do this. This is fun. I wish this walk wasn't so long, but this is still fun. I'm glad I looked up. They were clearly attracted by the explosion. And we're gonna equip our bolts. I do like this area. This area is super pretty. Like, it looks like fall. Which is funny, because we're just kind of getting into fall. At least North American fall. I don't know if it's fall wherever you are. Can't touch my blood stain. Oh, I see. They must be in all the doors. Hey! Alright, he's dead. I will take the life gem, absolutely. I wonder how we get up there. I feel like maybe we don't get up there.
Okay. Yep, we're leaving. Get my stamina up. All right, they're all dead. Let's help this lady out. She looks alive and fine, doesn't she? Welcome. I've been oh, petrified. Yes, you have. I've saved you. To speak. Give me oh, a moment, please. I'm fine. I think. I hope that moment was long enough. My name is Rosabeth. Okay, Rosabeth. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh. oh. You're that traveler. What traveler? You've been petrified the whole time I'm I've been here. Thank you. Oh, well, you mean the person who's been I'm standing in front of you. Oh, a pyromancer. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks. Prism stone. I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. By who? I owe you my life. If you have not come, oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. Don't. Um, I hate to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. But you will anyway. But, but. Just look at me. My clothes are in tatters. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? I think so. I'll take anything, whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Anything at all will do. Just put it on the ground. And I'll change into it later. Oh, neat. Buy item. Give equipment. Reinforce pyromancy flame? I have my very own teacher. Nice! His name is Corillian of the Fold. A famed sorcerer in Melfia. Our hometown. Is that where the pyromancers live? I'm fascinated by sorcery. And so... Well, he's so unique, you see. When he set out for Drang Lake, I couldn't let him go alone. So he's here? We were separated. Yes. Quite early on, I'm afraid. I'm rather unskilled, and the Lord probably ditched me. <laughs> but, oddly, I'm a fast learner when it comes to pyromancy. What we're fascinated by, and we're skilled at, are not always the same thing. Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? Oh dear, I shouldn't be so choosy. It's hardly my place. I have my very... Okay. His name is... Arhelion. When he's... But... What do you have to buy? Fire defense, lightning defense, dark defense. Okay, those are cool. What do we have over here? Boost, magic defense, lightning defense, fire defense, strengthens pyromancy flame. So you can use her to strengthen the pyromancy flame. And we have spells. We got pyromancy, fire orb, combustion, poison mist, flash, sweat, iron flesh. All very cool. Do I have any equipment to give you? Might. No hats. But. You can have this. And this. And these. Thank you so much. I'm very happy for this gift. You're very welcome. After I change into this, I'm heading for Majula. Hmm. I'm not sure where I might find the Lord, but perhaps Majula is my best chance. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to this dude now that I have cured you. 
clearing the way. Was you doing, was it? Was. Are you an onion knight? No, no, no. That's not like a sound, no. It was a pleasant surprise, that's all. Name's Ben Hart. Oh, Ben Hart. you, I can resume my journey. If we share the same path, I'm sure that we are going to meet again. No doubt. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. I swear it by my sword. Oh, nice. The road ahead's going to be long, but I'm here to help. <laughs> so hopefully I don't have to kill you. I am in your debt. You are, Ben Hart. It's a man who honors his debts, and I'll see mine paid. I swear it by my ancient sword. Ooh, Joy Jester. Let's check that one out. We have... Um... Uh, trade point. Joy. That seems weird for my hollow to be doing, but all right. Onward. And it seems that I did not turn into stone doing this. I hear guys, so I don't know if the guy's actually through this door. And if so, I don't... Oh gosh. He was through the door. And luckily, could not come through it. Oh, there's a bonfire in here. Sure. Uh, I hope that basilisk is not... is not back when I do this. So, what do we got here? Shaded Woods. An old Akalar. It's interesting that my crossbow, my crossbow bolts are bending. Like, you can see them curving when I'm doing this. That chest looks like a chest. I haven't seen a mimic as a giant chest like that. That'd be one heck of a mimic. Ooh, Estus Flask Shard. Awesome. That thing, like, concerned me for a second. Oh, uh, I can't leave. Once I'm locked in. I do want that Estus Flask Shard to be done, though. Be wary of message. Message ahead, therefore a message required ahead. There's a lot of messages, and also some blood stains. Okay, well I can definitely jump over there. At least I think I could jump over there. Looks like I could jump. Hmm. Try again. The heck is that guy? He definitely looks dead. He is. He wants to kill me. And now he is dead. Ooh, large titanite shard. That's cool. He's dead. Large titanite, titanite shard, definitely worth it. Uh, that's dude over there. What about in this one? It's like another shamble, dude. Okay.
Uh, he's dead. Oh, just another one. Okay. We're gonna be stuck behind the door, buddy. Okay, he's dead. Let me out of here. I'm not too concerned about that, friend. Okay. We got our bonfire. Weakness, critical hits. There's another boss here, isn't there? Why are they all facing this way? Be wary of recklessness. Oh, shaded woods. Like, all these messages have me quite worried. Oh! That's really cool, I like how he's eating. Okay. Weakness. Message. Fading soul. Not sure what that is. The fading soul of a lost undead who has gone hollow and still. The soul is the source of all life, and even in undead are hollowing the mind seek souls. Yep. It's probably the smallest soul, if I had to guess. We also have a soul of a proud knight, which could probably be used for a level. Oh. Come on. Alright, that one's dead. I'm glad they said the ambush ahead, because that actually did cause me to look up. I don't know why he insisted on fighting that way. Oh, I saw another dude up there. Hey, dude. Ow. That one got me. You should be proud of yourself. Okay, we're gonna snipe this guy. Pretty good about this ambush. Right tongue butthole, I don't see a corpse here. This place is super pretty though. I am a fan of pretty places. Oh, a Pharaoh's Lockstone. I wonder if we're going to encounter another Pharaoh's Contraption soon. It's been quite a long time. Oh, no. Ah! Come on. Ok, 
Okay, that's two gone? Of what, five? Four? Six? They're all dead? Black fire bomb worked really well there. People who are like, we're going in! Ah, oh, you're surrounded. You gotta, you can't... You can't just charge in, my friends. You gotta, you gotta think about the situation. You gotta handle it properly. Wait, spot ahead. There? With this broken statue? Man, this place really does feel like nostalgia. Bonfire ahead. An awful lot of bloodstains for a bonfire ahead. Bonfire ahead. I definitely see a bonfire, though. Alright. Boss, but whole. Alright, bonfire lit. Is that a fog gate? That looks neat. Wow, that's pretty cool. I got this place. He's wearing like the falconer equipment? I think that's the falconer equipment. That dude is fully equipped. Very pacing. All right. So we are at the Ruined Fork Road. We are going back to the Firekeeper. Because we want to recharge our Estus Flask and maybe gain a level or two. There you go. Alright, now we finally have an Estus Flask. I'm gonna refill my bow supplies. I have 14. I'd like maybe 36. And I have three, so I'd like... I don't know, 36. Oh, the first ones are arrows. These are bolts. Okay. Cool. And repair powder. We got titanite shards. We don't need any of that. But now that we have two large titanite shards, we can improve our rapier again. Three large titanite shards will take it to a plus six. But plus five is pretty good. Oh. Wife came down the stairs. Scared the crap out of me. That's power noise cancelling headphones right there. Alright. Let's use this. And this tiny fading soul. Only worth 50. Almost nothing. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. That's not how we do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to level up. It's been a while. Alright, we can afford one level up. Can either be Dex. Dex is pretty good. Again, I feel pretty good with my adaptability where it is right now, but look at the resistances. All those resistances go up by eight with one point. That seems fine, too, especially with all the poison in the area that I'm in. Uh, vitality is equipment load. Which is pretty good. Red equipment load contributes towards fast rolls. And 30 and petrify resistance if I do vigor. Kind of want to do vigor. This is so useless for me right now. This is okay. I kind of want to hit 18 decks. I just don't know if I want to hit 18 decks yet. Again, this seems fine too. It does increase my poise. 
in my poise defense. Hit point stamina, poise defense. This seems super valuable. The question is vigor or endurance. Both I think are going to be good. Vitality, I want to be at least 14, but... Let's do vigor for now. Now, maybe I should respec and just take points out of strength. Whew. All right, so next time we will head back into the Shaded Woods, which are over there. We're done for now. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, then go ahead and click that like button. If you would like to see more, then feel free to subscribe. Plus, helps out the channel quite a bit. You can share the video. You can comment on the video. I love talking to people in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.